Hello. Hey there, Rose. Hey there, Renee. Dr. Renee. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for diving in. It's mighty late, Jackie Avent. I have been super, super busy today in a wonderful way. But you know what? Today is the big day. Today is the eighth day of the eighth month. Eight is the number of new beginnings. God told us last week that he was going to do something just wonderfully incredible on today. He told us it's going to be like double or nothing. So I could not let the night go by without checking in with the divers to find out one simple thing. The question I want to ask you all tonight is, tell me, have you seen it? Have you seen it? There was a song back in the 70s, I think 1971. I was just a little girl, little baby girl, two years old in 1971. But the Shy Lights had a song out called, Tell Me Have You Seen Her? And it was a slow love ballad. Tell me, have you seen her? Have you seen her? I want to know, have you seen it? Ha, huh? have you seen it? And when I say, have you seen it? The it that I am referring to is the promise of God. The it that I am referring to, hey there, y'all come on in here. The it that I am referring to is the dream that still lives within. The it that I'm asking you about tonight, have you seen it? Today is a, a super um, magnetic, it's an incredibly anointed day. It's a day I'm convinced. Nobody cannot change my mind. I am persuaded and convinced that today in the super realm, in the natural realm, is a miracle working day. I'm convinced of it. Double eights, new beginning, new beginning, new, new. I don't know about anybody else, but I believe God. I believe that the invisible has become visible today. I believe that the intangible has landed in the palm of somebody's hands on today. I believe, oh my God, that the untouchable has, be, has been touched today. Somebody has been touched by the untouchable today. Even if you didn't feel it, even if you aren't aware that it took place, I am convinced that the power of God has fallen on their earth today, fallen on the people of God today. So I want to know, have you seen it? Have you seen the hand of God today? Have you seen the hand of God move on your prayer request today? Have you seen the hand of God answer your prayer and your petition today? Oh God, since last week, I think, I think since the first uh, day of August when this word fell on me. Hi, Chandra. It's so good to see you. Since uh, August the 1st, I decreed and I declared that by the eighth day, which is the uh, eighth day of the eighth month, new beginnings, new beginnings, new and new, double for your trouble is going to explode in the lives of the divers. And I'm checking in. I want to know, have you seen it? Have you seen the visitation? Have you seen the demonstration of God's power in any aspect? Have you seen the turnaround? Huh? Have you seen the door fly off the hinges for you? Have you seen the supernatural, incredible favor that you know that you didn't work for? Maybe you didn't even deserve it, but it has been given to you when you least expected it. Have you seen the extra draw of people, of strangers in the street to the anointing, the gifting, the oil that flows off your life? Have you seen the hand of God move in your life? on your home, on your marriage, on your children, on your business, on your ministry, on your health condition. Have you seen divers? What's up? Have you seen the hand of God move in an, in an incredible way that you know that it could only have been God to do that? Have you seen the different response? Have you seen, my God, the countenance change? Have you seen a shift in your own self, 
in your own mood, your own personality, your own temperament? Have you seen a shift up more in your own maturity level? I want to know, have you seen it? God said, my God, that we can expect a great thing. So I want to know, have you seen it? Have you seen a great thing happen in the last eight days? Today being the eighth day. Have you seen something great happen in your life? Have you seen some chains break off of your life? Oh God, have you seen your, you, you keeping, not just keeping your head above water, but have you seen yourself walking on the water in any situation or circumstance these first eight days of the month? My God, I'm checking in tonight. I dare not lie down and try to go to sleep without checking in with the divers because I want to know, have you seen it? Have you seen the glory of God in your life? Have you seen the power work for you? I want to know if you've seen Mark Green, Jackie B. I want to know, have you seen it? Have you seen the hand of God shuffle some things around for you? Have you seen him uh, uh, just uh, confound the enemy on your behalf? Have you seen, my God, doors open up that weren't open up last month, but they're open up this month? My God, I was just reminded that early this morning, one of the divers from last week who was on the broadcast, she texted me early this morning, mm, got my number, identified herself, texted me and said, I want you to know that I know today is the eighth day. I made my, my de declare and my petition known on the first, like you said, and today on the eighth day, I started a brand new position. <laughs> Glory to God. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Have you seen it yet? What have you seen? Huh? Oh God. And if you've seen something, did you discern it right? Have you identified it correctly? Huh? Did you perceive it properly? Do you realize that it's God? Do you know that sometimes God can work in such a teeny tiny way that we can easily in our human frailty with our limited vision of sight sometimes we can overlook it and we don't even recognize that that's God. Huh? It's, it didn't come the way you thought, but that's God. It didn't sound the way you had anticipated, but that's God. The direction is not one that you would have picked and chosen for yourself, but that's God. I'm checking in tonight to see, have you seen it? Have you seen the blessing? Have you seen the breakthrough? Mm. I just heard right here in my recollection, if you have had a breakdown, my God, when I said, have you seen the breakthrough? You might have said to yourself, no, but I had a breakdown. Baby, I came to remind you tonight that sometimes the breakthrough comes, the breakdown comes so that the breakthrough can come on through the through of your life. My God, hallelujah. It's like a cause and an effect. Think about building a, a new construction on a wooded site. They got to level that bad boy to the ground. They got to run over those trees with the bulldozer. They got to get the laborers out there to work and clear the land and knock everything down, level it down to zero, and then begin to build something beautiful. I came to let you know tonight that you might need to take a second look. If you have not seen the hand of God move in any type of spectacular way by today, the eighth day of August, the month of new beginnings, I challenge you to rewind your days back with the supernatural remote control. I challenge you to ticker tape your way back through the scenes of your days since August 1st. I challenge you, my God, to take a second look. <laughs> I challenge you to ask yourself, Jackie, have you seen it? Was that God? Well, Lord have mercy. I guess that was God. Sometimes it works like that. Anybody, have you awakened up and got through your day? And at some point in your day, all of a sudden you realize, good God Almighty, my back's not hurting today. Woo, I didn't wake up with that headache this morning. Baby, that's God. <laughs> Woo, 
anybody had some instances where the children have been cooperating this week, not giving you any trouble at all, baby, that's God. Ah, bullshit, Kaba. Hallelujah. I came to check in tonight because I want to know, have you seen it? Have you seen God make a way out of no way? Oh, Jackie B, thank you for the witness there. Have you seen God turn things all the way around? Have you seen God turn a, a, a angry, wrathful answer into a softer answer this week? My God, did you did you pass any kind of test in the last eight days where you know that if it hadn't been for the power of God, the power of the Holy Ghost, you would have acted a straight up fool, but you were disciplined in your flesh. You were disciplined in your spirit. You told your flesh, you are not the boss of me, so you just as well get somewhere and sit down. And when you sit down, you also need to shut it up. My God, if you pass a test like that, I want to let you know that that was God. Yeah, I'm checking in tonight, Treva. I'm finding out from the divers, have you seen it? Have you seen God do exactly what he said he would do? And if you didn't see the whole thing all at once, I want to know, do you have wisdom enough, discernment enough to remember that a lot of times, God, thank you for the witness, Paula. Remember that a lot of times God works in increments. The first time he put the spit on the man's eyes, he couldn't see. He couldn't see all the way clear, but he could see a little bit. That was God. The second time, oh, and as a matter of fact, he said, I see men walking as trees. Uh, he Before that, he couldn't see nothing. So to be able to go from nothing to a little bit, that's God. My God, when it comes to the creation of the kingdom of God, first it's like a blade, then a, well, a, kernel, of a, a kernel of corn, and then a blade, and then a full corn in the ear. One part, two parts, three parts. And then, bam, you cut that stalk of corn down, take it home, fry it up in the pan, put it in a pot and boil it, steam it in the, what, in the, in the air fryer, put it on the grill. <laughs> However you want to cook it, baby, it's yours for the doing so. Hey, that's God. I came to check in tonight and find out about the miracles, the signs, and the wonders. Hey, Bobby, I want to know what miracles have you seen yet? What signs? Have you seen yet? Ho ho. What wonders have you seen yet? Because I know by the spirit of the living God, just as surely as I sit here, where am I? What does it say? Shirt, sure, I am not a something. I'm an original. Just as surely as I see myself sitting here, I know that you've seen something. I don't know what you've seen. I don't know what you've experienced. I don't know what you felt. I don't know what bypassed you. Hey, that was God. The missiles that went over your head, that was meant to strike your head, baby, in the spiritual realm, in the supernatural realm, that was God. Yeah, 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 yeah. My goodness. I want to know tonight, have you seen it? Have you seen the glory? Have you seen mm, the promise? Have you seen the gift? Have you seen what? Shout out both side. Have you seen the blessing that was promised to you from our Father God? And listen, today's the eighth month of the eighth day. I don't know about you guys, but I kid you not. All day I've been looking. All day I've been expecting. All day I've been clearly, consciously aware that at any moment now, my God, Anything is subject to happen. And I've been in a posture of expectancy all day long. Because why would God bless somebody who don't even believe? Why would he knock the socks off of somebody who don't want nothing? Who ain't looking for nothing? My God, who's not expecting nothing so they don't have their cup lifted up. They don't have their basket ready. Oh God, my goodness. I don't know about you all, but I stand in expectation and even not only for physical tangible things external things but i want to know have you seen the internal things have you seen have you felt some growth have you felt some maturity have you realized oh i have a change of mind about that that's god 
Yeah. That strong no that you had. Open it up to a possible yes. Ha. Huh? For uh, the thing that God has set before you. That's God. Listen. We cannot be so expectant of the mountainous that we overlook the minuscule. When I say minuscule, I am simply using that word to compare and contrast something that is tiny and we might think it insignificant, too small to even count, too small to even include. We already talked about that and died in about two weeks ago, right? Don't, don't sleep on the small stuff. Don't skip over the small stuff. Baby, don't let the small stuff fool you. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh God, kryptonite. Oh, you better, you better ask somebody. Don't let the small stuff fool you because God can do it. And when we show ourselves what? Faithful over a few things, he will make us ruler over much. Yeah, yeah. And even with saying that, as I get ready to click off of here in a few minutes, yeah, this is lickety split quick. I just want to know, have you seen it yet? Have you discerned it yet? Can you, did you properly identify it? I heard a pastor say that yesterday. There's a difference between discernment and identification. Have you ID the blessing of God? Have you discerned the blessing of God? Have you perceived the hand of God? Can you tell that God has been in your presence with you in that, in this, over there? Can you? Hey there, Iris. What's up, girl? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Because I, I, I want to know, have you seen it? Because I'm sure that God has released it. I'm sure that it's in route. I'm sure that you, uh, that you are just, uh, on pins and needles, just waiting, expecting with bated breath, as they would say, God do it. God have your way. I see you, Treva Davis Phillips. God have your way because I'm ready. I got, is there, are there any divers on the diving board tonight who are ready? If you are ready, would you please put in the chat for me? Ready. I just want to see that one word, ready, because God's about to loose it even the more. Did you hear what I said? I said, God is about to loose it even the more. I say that with great intentionality because he's already done it. In heaven, it's already done. In earth, we got to catch up with what heaven has already done. And God's going to loose more and more and more the enabling ability to be able to catch up with him, what he's done in heaven right here on earth on this side. Oh, you about to be blessed on this side. You about to get some portions of some things on this side. Yeah, you don't have to wait to the by and by. This side. My God, so I think somebody needs to put that in the chat as well. This side, God wants you walking in it. He wants you eating it. He wants you living in it. He wants you living it. When I say living it, what do I mean? I mean living the best life. I mean living the blessed life, the best life, living the blessed life, living a peaceful life, living a, a, a an opulent life. Living a powerful life, living a shiny, oily life. Have you seen it? Have you seen the drippings yet? Have you seen, oh God, anything? Folks ought to be swarming around you when you're out and about in the community every now and then because of the oil, because of the sweet smelling fragrance that is drawing people to you. They don't even know you, but there's something about you. They just strike up conversation and start telling you all their stuff and you didn't ask for none of it. But there's something about you. It's the it, baby. Have you seen it? Have you seen an increase in your anointing? Have you seen an increase in your prayer life? Have you seen an increase in your focus and concentration on the things that will help you build something in this life? Have you seen it? Let me tell you, I keep saying this life. I keep saying this life. God has led me to Ephesians 3, chapter number 3, the, the book of Ephesus. Hey there, Alexis. Ephesus 
was actually one of the seven churches of Asia Minor. Ephesus was a trading city, one of the most, the biggest, the busiest, the most powerful trading cities in the Mediterranean in Bible days. I want to let you know tonight, have you seen it? Have you seen a trading in of your sickness and your sorrow huh? for joy and laughter? Have you seen some trade going on in your life? Have you seen the trading in of some sadness? Oh my God, of some loneliness, of some boredom, of some dissatisfaction for excitement, for tranquility. Oh God, oh Lord, have you seen some trading taking place in your life when it comes to mindset? Have you seen some trading taking place? There's an old song that says, I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my pain. I'm trading my sickness. Huh? I'm laying it all down for the love of the Lord. The life, I know where I am. The life, have you seen it? Have you seen the kind of life that God wants you to live? Have you seen the kind of life yet that God has preordained, predestined for you to walk in on this side, in the land of the living, baby. Ha! Huh? Ephesians 3 and 20. Now to him who is able to immeasurably more, to do immeasurably more than we ask or imagine. Some versions say now unto him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly, far above all we can ask, think of, or imagine. Have you seen it yet? Have you seen what you've been imagining start to come to life yet? Have you seen it? Have you seen it take shape? Have you seen it take place? Last week, one of the messages that I ministered, I, I told you that it's time for you to bust a move. Did you see yourself busting a move these eight days of this month? This month of new beginnings, this super abundant month, this month of miracles, this month of double or nothing. Did you do your part and bust a supernatural move by faith? Even if you didn't have enough, enough money, even if you didn't know who was going to help you, even if you didn't know how it was, how it was going to turn out, did you bust a move by faith? Did you make movement? You know that movement inspires movement. If you have not seen it, the weight of God, the hand of God, the presence of God, I got to believe it's because you didn't obey and you didn't bust a move. I got to believe that you did not obey and take a step out of the boat and walk on some water. Ha <laughs> ha, my God. All of us have water walking ability, water walking capacity, water walking potential. If we would activate our faith, have you seen it yet? God said he would do it. And the Bible just told us he who is able to do immeasurably, that means you can't even measure it, baby. I don't care if you get all the Betty Crocker measuring cups, Martha Stewart measuring cups, oh, whoever that have ever been made. You can't, you cannot measure God's ability to do a thing and do it right. Do a thing and do it until it takes your breath away. Do a thing and do it to the point where you are speechless like Hannah. That's all you can do. He is able to do exceedingly and abundantly. And I know that some things have taken place these first eight days of the month. So I want to know, have you seen it yet? And I understand. My God, it says here, more than we could ever ask, think, or imagine. According to his power that is at work in us. His power is housed on the inside of us. His power will work inside of us if we let it work. God has been dealing with me quite a bit lately here on that let word. Let there be light. <laughs> oh God. Mm. It'll work if we let it work. It'll work if we cooperate with it working. It will work if we become the other magnet. The, the Holy Spirit is a magnet on the inside of us. 
but a magnet needs something to attract to. The best thing is got to be metal, some kind of metal. You got to be a magnet within your own self. And you've got to let your magnet, the magnet that you are, you're the magnet. You got to let it radioactively attract to the magnetic power of God that is working on the inside of us to help us actualize, manifest, bring to fruition the exceedingly and abundantly far above we could ask or think. Have you seen it yet? Have you seen the courage meter move up in your mindset? Have you seen, my God, the faith level be like a thermostat and shoot up to the top? These eight days, you should have. You should have. Your faith should be elevated. Even though it's, it may be hard, these eight days may have been hard I have been challenged. I have been stretched in some multitude. Of, got me sweating, y'all. I have been challenged. I have been sweat, uh, sweating. I have been challenged. I have been stretched in some multitudes of ways. But when my mind would think, I might need to quit. I might need to give up. I might need to just pass, pass this bad boy by. The Holy Spirit would say, but you can do this. You can do this. Give it the best shot. And if you, and if it doesn't come together like it should be, don't let it be because you didn't honestly, genuinely, authentically try. That's busting a move, baby. The try is busting a move. Have you tried anything? Have you tried something new? Have you tried something different? Have you tried to be open? Whereas before you were shut tight closed. Have you tried? If you have, you've allowed the power to work within you like it wants to work within you. I came on tonight to be very brief. It's more of a check-in than anything else because you know what? A good coach, a good instructor, a good teach, teacher will check in to make sure that the students, that the divers, my God, that the participants Get it. At least the good ones will. I want to make sure that you get it. Because I want you to get it. I want you to dive deep into your wells. Dive deep into your own vaults that are inside of you. Where the power of God is housed. I want you to dive deep into your spirit. And I want you to put your, put your, uh, what you call them things? I want you to put your diving goggles on. I want you to make sure you got your nose covered up if you need to. I want you to stretch your eyes like I'm doing right now. I want you to look around again. Go look again. You may have over missed God's visitation. Go look again. Loop back around. Make a U-turn. Do a double take. Open yourself up to brand new possibilities. Stop. This is for somebody particularly. Stop being so anal. Mm, la. Stop being so anal. You want it black, but it's navy blue. Okay, it's God. God wanted navy blue for you. You want it tall, he sent you medium. Okay, God wants medium for you. You wanted it to be on the north side, but it's on the west side. Listen, stop being so anal. Stop insisting on having your way and then saying, God didn't do it. God didn't answer. God didn't show up. If you haven't seen it yet, it may be because you didn't want to see it. In what you saw. You saw something. But it wasn't what you wanted to see. So you chose not to see it. And we are good at doing that. We are good. At doing that. No. No. That can't be the will of God. No. Sir. God knows I don't like that. But he knows what you need. He knows what you need. Even more than what you like. 
Put it on the scale, baby. Won't need. Won't need. The good thing that I so love about God when it comes to have you seen it yet is he's going to make sure. Ephesians 3 and 20. He's going to make sure that you have what you need. And he's so gracious and loving and, and kind that he's also, it's not always an either or with God. Sometimes it's the both and. A lot of times it's the both and. He's going to make sure you have what you need first. And then he's going to bless you just because. Don't you love it? Hey. Holidays are great to get gifts and surprises and luxuries and all of that. But those just because moments are the best of all. They're like the criminal. How do you say it? The criminal, criminal, somebody said, put it in the chat, but the criminal cream or the, the cherry on the top and stuff, the icing on the cake. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I have, get, let me, a little sidebar. I have given up caffeine. And so if it looks like I'm, I'm just all over the place a little bit on these extra endorphins, uh, I'm caffeine deprived. I'm kicking that habit. And so there you go. But I hope you got this message tonight because you still got time. You, I, I can't see the clock, but you still got time to bust a move so that you can see the miraculous take place in your life. Movement inspires movement. If you have not, by faith, thank you so much, Chandra. If you have not, by faith, seen it. The promise, the blessing, the turnaround, the increase, the overflow, the addition, the multiplication, the division, the subtraction. I don't know what needs to take place in your life. but or, or, and, and you don't know what needs to take place in my life. But God knows all of our lives, our life's needs at the same time. And whatever it is that we need, that's what he's going to supply. Amen? That's what he's going to supply. So if you haven't seen it yet, it very well may be that it's because you have not by faith terrified, scared to death, it seems like. What if it don't work? What if it does? What if they shut me down? What if they don't? What if I fail? What if you pass? What if I am embarrassed? What if that embarrassment shifts you into a famous state for Jesus Christ? Ooh, whoever that's for, you better take it. My God. We don't, don't concentrate on the what if. It doesn't. Shake all that junk off. All those coaching spirits off. Shake all that off and bust a move tonight. Tonight. Bernie Mac say tonight, bust the move because you still got time left on the clock. And I'm serious. I'm I, more so, I'm pointing that way towards the top, the clock over there, but more so than me talking about um, calendar time, um, earthly time. I'm talking about Kairos time, that supernatural time. The moment you do, what you have not yet done. The moment you try what you have not yet tried, the hand of God is going to move. Hey there, Elder Drake. The hand of God is going to move. The shy light saying, have you seen her? Tell me, have you seen her? You, you know that song. I'm asking, have you seen it? Or have you overlooked it? Have you seen it? Or have you failed to discern it? Have you seen it? Or did you simply not perceive it? Hey there, Lisa Bess. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Have you been looking in the right place? Have you been looking in the right direction? Have you had an open heart? My God, have you seen it? God promised it. He promised it. He's not a man that he should lie. Today is the eighth month and it's the eighth day 
that's new beginnings times two, that's doubles, doubles or nothing. I check, I, I came to check in tonight, excuse me, because I wanted to hear the reports. I wanted to see some stuff going up the timeline. I came in because I, I was super convinced. I am super convinced that God has done some miraculous things these first eight days of August. I'm convinced of it, Lisa Best. I am convinced. And listen, as I click off, don't undermine the small things. Because you're looking for great big fireworks to light up the whole entire sky. You're looking for a 360 degree. Okay. Some got the 360 degree. Some only got the 180. But baby, how y'all get the 180? Whoo! By my math. And I don't like math. Except counting money. By my math, 180 is a long ways away from zero, where you started from. So don't despise the 180 because it's not the whole 360. Faster than you can take your next eye blink, God is exceedingly and abundantly able to make the 180 take a deep dive in your life. And immediately and instantly and suddenly become a whole life 360, baby. It's your faith. By your faith. Bust the move. Bust the move. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Whoever you are, do it. Do it. Do it. Whatever it is, do it. If it's God, do it. If it's the Holy Spirit, do it. If you know that you're supposed to, do it. Bust a move so you can see it. <laughs> Bust a move so you can see it. And the reason I say that as I'm leaving out of here for real is because movement truly does inspire movement. God is waiting on your faith meter to go just like this and then you start putting that faith in action whatever that looks like means and represents to you to you and to you alone glory to god elder drake says adjust your mindset there's that word i used that word mindset a few minutes ago brother adjust your mindset uh oh Adjust your mindset so that you can receive the signs. That's the word. So that you can receive the signs. My God, you may not. See, he done got me started up again. You may not have gotten it tangibly in your hand, but did you see the sign that told you to walk this way? My God. Yeah, 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 yeah. God will give you a sign. I heard Bishop Jake say a long time ago, what you do, where you go, what, where you end up, it may not be the thing that you thought it was going to be, but it could very well turn out to be the thing that leads to the thing. Recognize, receive the signs that God has shown you that will lead you to success. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, glory to God. And on that note, I am going to click off. Y'all share the broadcast for me. Hey, drop an anchor or either pull up an anchor by way of a benediction on Dive In Tonight. If you can pull up an anchor emoji, I want you to either, depending on where you are in your station in life, in your mindset, depending on where you are in your faith level. I want, if you need to drop an anchor and stabilize yourself, I want you to drop an anchor, put an anchor in the chat. If you know you need to pull an anchor up and you need to get moving, you need to get in motion. You need to sail on a little bit and, and, and get what you need to get and go where you need to be and all of that. I want you to pull an anchor up. So y'all share the broadcast for me and drop an anchor for me. And we're out. We're out just like that. We're out. It's the eighth day, the eighth month. My God, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for every last one of you. 
diving with me. Thank you for sharing your time with me tonight on this Monday, Monday night. Thank you for sharing your time with me. I plan to be back here tomorrow around 6.15, God willing. And um, I would love to see you here. Set your no notification bell so that you can see me when I pop on for a pop up, uh, whatever I need to do, because I love diving with you all. Swimming, diving is so much better when you have other divers with you, not afraid to go into the deep. By way of a benediction, please put an anchor in the chat and I will see you hopefully tomorrow. Thank you, Elder Drake. He says he's dropping his anchor. You guys don't even have to put no words in it if you don't want to. But I want you as a sign of a fresh commitment to yourself. My God, I want you to put an anchor in the chat. Glory to God. And when you do it, you are signifying. My God, I see two anchors, Alexis. Yeah, yes. Double, double, double. I see the anchors coming. I see their anchors being dropped in the chat. They represent something to heaven. Heaven is watching us right now. And guess what? That devil is watching us right now too. But who gives a flip? Because he can't stop nor block the blessings, the promise, the purpose, the plans, the provision of God. Hallelujah. And I'm so thankful for that. He can try to try to suck the fudge if he want to, but it ain't going to work. My Bible tells me that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And the same goes for you. Y'all drop that anchor or pull that anchor up. Have a blessed, restful, refreshing, replenishing, renewing, strengthening uh, night of sleep and slumber. Dream sweet dreams or no dreams at all. Wake up ready to go in the morning to tackle whatever you need to tackle in your day on tomorrow. Do it with great expectation. It'll be the ninth day. And nine is the number of birth and forth. That means something is coming to life. My God, something that's been in an incubation state. Oh Lord, something that's been in an incubation state is going to be coming through. Hey, coming through. I think that's what I'm going to be talking about tomorrow. Something's coming through. My God, Lisa Best. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. She's put four anchors in the chat on tonight. Glory to God. And I decree and I declare that by your faith, Lisa, according to your faith, girl, be it unto you. Be it unto you. Elder Drake says, dropping my anchor so that I can complete my task that God has for me to do before I move on to the next place. I know that's right. That's a man of God. That is a child of God who wants to properly wrap things up and leave it in a, in a good working order so he can go on to the next. Glory to God. Something's coming through. I believe it's what I'm going to minister on tomorrow. Going to share from that message. Something coming through. Paul is putting an anchor down. My God, Paul is dropping an anchor. Do you need to drop it or you need to pull it up? Which one is it? Only you and God know. Only you and God can decide. Hi there, Lena. Only you and God can decide. But as I click off of here, I keep trying. Y'all, I feel somebody pulling on me. So I got to make sure I release all this oil for tonight or I'll be out of order. My God, dropping the anchor down, dropping the anchor down. I heard the Lord say a moment ago, somebody needs to snatch their self away from something and tie their selves to the horns of the altar. Tie yourself. What does that mean? Let me break it down real quick. It means get locked just like this with God. Get locked, tied up, tangled up, just like intertwined, just like this with God and refuse to let anything separate you from the love of God. Hey, I gave it to you in a nutshell. Somebody needs to tie themselves to the horns of the altar and let, there it is again, let God have his way. Friday night, I ministered for the solemn assembly. Let there, no, it looks like rain. That was my message. It looks like rain. I want to say tonight, because I just heard it, let there be rain in your life. Let there be rain on the things that you need to get soaking wet. My God. Woo, I'm getting off of here.
I'm getting off of here. I think that this some of this stuff must be for tomorrow when I come on dive in. So let me go develop it. Let me go and see what the Lord wants to say about it so that I can give some good content on tomorrow. Set your noted bell. Hey, I want you to dive with me. I try to be consistent. My work schedule got me all over the place sometimes and I got to go with it. But I find... <laughs> I, I tell you, when you do what you need to do, God will help you do what you want to do and all of that. So we just got to stay faithful, you guys. I love y'all. Thank you so much. I'm looking at these anchors being dropped down. Thank you so much for your act of faith, your act of obedience, for your own prophetic decree. When you put the anchor in the chat, it is a prophetic decree, a prophetic notice to your own life. You're telling your own self, you going to do this thing. You can do this thing. You have this thing in you. Have you seen it? Tell me. Have you seen it? Hey, hey. Oh, Lord. I see Mrs. Davis Phyllis got two anchors in the chat. Glory to God. The spirit is moving and working. working. Deliver. Hallelujah. Deliver and set somebody free. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. And I, I just, you know, I just am convinced. It doesn't have to be deep and spooky and astrological in order for it to be real and be relevant and break some chains, baby. That's what it's all about. Mm, da -da -da -bo -shot. I just heard in the spirit realm, somebody need to pull on your anchor. You know, when you see a movie and you see a ship, there's an anchor and they got to pull. They got to whine and pull it up, whine and pull it up. And every now and then it breaks. And the Lord just said to me right then that the reason that somebody's anchor that you've been working with needs to totally and completely break when you try to pull it up is because when you leave, Asha, when you leave that spot where you've been anchored at, you're, you're not ever going back there again. You, you, you're not going back there again. And I want to say to somebody else right here that destiny is always ahead of you. Destiny is always the next. Destiny is, is still over there. We always working towards it. So I want you to let the chain break. You might need, when you get to the next part, get you a new anchor all together. That's, it's okay. It's cool. It's all right. It's a working part. Sometimes they need to be replaced, upgraded, whatever. Do what you got to do. Do whatever you got to do so you can see it. See it so you can see what it said. Mm. Bust a move, people. Divers, bust a move so you can see what it said. He said it. And I know we say, I said it last week. If he said it, will he not perform it? Oh God, Mrs. Davis Phyllis said, you got me turning around in this floor. My God, my God, my God. Work, Holy Ghost, work. Elder uh, Jarian, you spoke it, brother. You said healing and deliverance. My God, listen. I want you to see it. I want you to see exactly what he said. If he said it, he will do it. But you got to, you got to participate. You got to participate. Whatever that means for you, whatever your capacity level is to participate. And it might be unequal giving, but equal sacrifice. The widow woman didn't have but two little bitty mites, but it was counted as more and greater, hallelujah, than the one who had millions because it was all she had left in the world, whereas they had more than they could ever need in a lifetime. Are you listening to me? Are you diving with me tonight? God wants you to see it. He wants you. He, I, I feel an unction to persuade somebody. God wants you to see it. See what it said. See what it promised. God wants you to have it. Have what's in store for you. Have what's waiting for you at the next seaport. Have what's waiting for you at the next dock. He wants you to have it. 
He's good with you having it. As long as you don't let it have you. He wants you to see exactly what he said. So bust a move. Bust a move. Bust a move. Whatever that is. And I decree and declare that I know in my knower that you know what that is. You got a glimpse. You might not, not know every step in it, but you got a glimpse of what that move needs to be that you need to bust. You know. And Ian Levon Zant says, let us not pretend like we don't know what we know. <laughs> Woo I can't wait. I want you to see it. I heck I want to see it. And my my whole godly intention, I'm going to see it in the land of the living on this side. I'm going to see it. And I want you to see it. I would love for us to see it together. But if I don't ever see you see it, it's good with me because Apollo's water. No, Paul said, I planted Apollo's water, but it was God that gave the increase. If I don't never see it, I'm good with that. But I want you to see it. I want you to see it. See exactly what you never thought you would see. Because see, God said in his word that exceedingly and abundantly, that means you never thought it. You've never imagined it. You didn't write it in your vision, in your vision journal. It's not on your vision board in the closet. Because you didn't know. But God is saying tonight, the thing that you didn't know existed. He's the creator of all amazing things. And he can create it just for you. But you got to bust a faith move to let him know that you're ready. Bust a faith move to let him know that he can trust you. Hallelujah. That he can trust you. This is Dive In for tonight. I pray that you've gotten what you need. Paula says, me too. Lisa Beth says, hallelujah. I say, me too. I say, hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going to see it. Have you seen it? I'll, maybe I should have said, have you seen it yet? Have you seen it? You still got time on the clock, baby. I'm challenging you. Do it, do it, do it, do something. I don't know what it is. Do something or don't do something. Maybe that's the move you need to bust, not to do nothing. Whatever God has told you in your spirit, in your knower, I want you to do that so you can see the hand of God move in your life like never before. I want you to see the hand of God move over everything that's associated and attached to you that's in the plan of God. I will, you got to bust a move so it can affect, affect, and infect in a good God Almighty type of way. Everything that's associated and attached with you, ordained to go with you. Mm, my God. This is it. I'm out. Deuces. I'm out. Deuces. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm out. Deuces. Y'all share the broadcast for me. Set your noti bell so you can uh, chime in with me tomorrow. Look out for me around 6.15. If I need a few minutes of grace, please give it to me. I promise I'm hustling and bustling. I'm trying to get here because I want to die with you. And God has already, already told me the message for tomorrow. Something's coming through. So let's work it out. Good night. Share the broadcast. <laughs>